Good morning, guys. Welcome to It's All About Me. And it's such a lovely morning out here. It's nice and cool. And my battlefield is waiting for me. Yes, I'll be going out there. I might not post every day, you know, that I'm on the at least I'm not going to say every day because I do go on the battlefield every other day. So <clears throat> I might not post it every other day, but I do keep up with my walking so far. So what progress have I made? Well, I can say getting up usually was a hassle and it was very hard to get up because I could feel pain running from my ankles all the way to my knees. Now, it's 50% better. So, yeah, I think a little progress is there. So, I'm gonna be going on the battlefield now to go start some walking. And after that, I'm gonna be doing some exercise. So, let's go guys. I'm my own cameraman, so you have to bear with me with how I'm recording my video, you know, so still learning how to edit, but guess what, we have to start somewhere, and eventually it will become easy. I have to be looking down when I'm walking because I do not want to fall because this neuropathy causes me to fall sometimes. So I have to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk a little, guys, about obesity. Let me fix my glasses. You know, sometimes I walk, I have to stretch when I feel the back or the knees kind of getting ready to buckle up. Yeah, let's talk about obesity and what may cause it. Obesity can be caused from many different things, you know, and I'm going to talk on my, on myself. Well, stress can cause me to be obese and trust me guys when I tell you I've been through hell and back but that's gonna be private and a lot of times when we are in a world to ourselves when we're stressed you know, when you're stressed, sometimes you feel like you have no one. Or you can say depressed. Because we all get depressed sometimes. 
we feel like we have no one and it causes us to eat to cry to have mood swings loss of appetites and sometimes we come compulsive in doing certain things you know shopping different things you know it just depends on the person and I'm just speaking on a few <clears throat> few of the things that I do you know when it comes to shopping sometimes you buy things that you don't really need but you're just buying it because you want to have it and it feels good to be able to buy it in other words it's like going out and getting fresh air and not just go in the store to look but to actually buy something second one is overeating because the food doesn't talk back and food makes us feel good who doesn't love food well I'm just being honest you know I love food and I'm sure you love food and there are people who can control what they eat you know but when you're stressed out, sometimes we can't, you know, we can't control what we eat. And the times that we're eating, sometimes we don't realize, we don't realize how much we are eating. Oh, getting out of breath, guys. I think that's four laps I did. One, two, no, that's three. So I have one more lap to go. And I'm tired, but I'm gonna push myself if it's the even half, half a lap. Yeah. You know, as I was saying, when we put food in our mouth, it doesn't talk back to us. Excuse me if half of my head gets chopped off sometimes. <sighs> but it's like it feels good to eat. And we all have a preference of what we like to eat. <sighs> you know, I say most of these people it's sweets. Uh, sweets make you want more and more of it. Another set is fast food. And what fast food does really is you'll eat it and you'll be full. And then later on, I'll say probably 30 minutes later, it's like you're hungry again. And I can give you an example. You know, when you go to the all-you-can-eat restaurant, you see all that food. And you'd be trying to huddle that food, let it fit in your body. But you can't because seeing so much of it, it's like you feel full already. But anyway, you eat that food and you're so full sitting there in the chair now when you get home it's like what happened to that food i ate you know that food is gone disappeared out your tummy so that's what happens with overeating and sometimes we'll cry because we feel like we're in a dark place, like we have no one to talk to. But you know what, guys? What I've learned over the years, 
get a journal and write in it. Yeah. And I used to do that years ago. I'm trying to go up these stairs here. I used to do that years ago. And I actually stopped. And I'm gonna start doing it again. Yeah. So guys, I made it. I made it. I made it. I made it round a battlefield. I made it round a battlefield, guys. I am so proud of myself. Because this was something I kept saying I'm going to do. And I never did. So I'm happy I did. So anyway, guys, I'm going to be doing some low impact exercises this morning. I'm just going to take a breather first and get my oxygen back up. You know, as you know, your heart, at least my heart, you know, I do not want to fall down in front of this camera. So I have to take a breather and get everything back together and then I'm going to show you some exercises that I'll be doing out here this morning.
Okay guys, so I did my four laps around the yard and I did my low impact exercises and I'm happy and I'm proud of myself for getting up this morning and facing another day on my battlefield. And <clears throat> I did everything that I said I was supposed to do this morning. Exercise one, 
and exercise two of doing my low impacts so I will see you in my next video if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with a friend a plus size friend and or a plus size guy you know anyone you want to share it with you know just to encourage them to join me on this journey or if they are doing a journey for themselves also i will be sharing some of my recipes with you and that in those recipes i'll be doing salads or making healthier choices so i'll see you in my next video peace